What's up guys? Welcome to another video from your boy Tony Solo where I will be talking about something very interesting today. And this came to me when I was sitting down. I can't remember where I was standing up. And it was today. And I was thinking to me, oh, I was in the shower actually. <laughs> yeah, I was standing up, I was in the shower. And what came to me is this thing that women always say, oh, all men want is sex. And it's so fucking confusing for a man, especially if you feel that you have so much behavior behind you that is influenced by women. That's just one thing that confuses the fuck out of you. So from Budapest in this beautiful Hero Square, I'm just gonna talk to you about what is the truth behind when women say this? Why they say this and why you should understand that your truth behind it needs to be much more stronger because if it's not, they'll strip you away. Now, the first thing, this phrase of all men want is sex. This phrase is and it's directed toward men who are weak. That's what it's directed toward. Because um, if a man was strong, he wouldn't be he wouldn't allow that nonsense to come inside of himself. Because the saying of all men want is sex is based on a woman's hurt. It's based on her having sex with that one guy or those guys in her life who did only want to have sex with her. And now she's hurt. And she's taking it out and just developing the belief that all men want is sex. You have to understand that that phrase is developed around a woman that is hurt. A woman that is unhealthy in her psyche. That what is what is developed around. And many women who even say all men want is sex, they're just saying that out of reaction. They're not saying that as a real thing. They're not saying it in the sense of, you know what, I think all men want is sex because I sat down and I thought about today all these reasons. You know, men talk about sex all the time. They're very, very um, vulgar. They're, in movies, all you hear guys talking about is fucking this chick. And you know what, all men want is sex. Have you seen women do it like that? No. What you will notice is that a woman will say that out of reaction. And that is the thread of reaction that happens over generations. It really has happened. Well, I don't know if it's happened over generations, but that's something that will happen over generations to keep men somewhere, to keep men at a certain place, to validate herself in a sense of, I've been hurt, so, this, the, I validate the fact that all men want sex. All men, all they want, all they want is sex. I can validate that. And she's not even doing inventory on herself. She's just going, I'm hurt. And that, that feeling of hurt makes her react into the sense of all men want is this. This is all they want for me. So sometimes you may walk up to a girl and you say hello to her and you give her a compliment and she may actually be dealing with that belief on the inside that all men want is sex. And have you have ever come across texts where women say things like, uh, you know, you're, they say things like you're a player or they say things that's putting off? And I'm thinking of a few of them. Uh, one of them is, and I saw it, the guy put it in the, in the thing is, oh, uh, you know what? And this is mainly in America that I see. You know what? I'm not trying to have anything serious right now. Uh, it was, we can just be friends. And a lot of times what that's coming from is some sort, of, first of all, she's probably hiding something or it's coming from a place inside of herself that feel hurt by men in some way and you represent something that she's been hurt by. So she may actually just do that because of that. That's just one reason, but this is one of the reasons why a woman will send that text. And I've seen this mainly when I'm in America and girls send shit to me like that. And they're afraid of all kind of shit like judgment and all these things, but we'll leave that for another time. All men want is sex is a lie. There's some men out there who see a woman and they go, I want to fuck her. I want to fuck that woman. And he may go, you know, if I had the chance right now and we both were naked in the bed, I would have sex with her. Yeah, men do that. Absolutely. But what's not the truth is he actually wants to fuck her. That's actually not the truth. Because that's what he believes on the inside in the moment when he sees her. 
But if that woman got into the bedroom, or she met her and she was like, <laughs> and she was weird and shit, he literally would not, his dick wouldn't get hard. He wouldn't be able to. He would not be turned on by this girl because energy means much more than just physical contact. If physical contact is there without energy, the energetic connection, it means shit. So, even for a man when he goes, you know, I want to fuck that girl, that's not even true for him. And women, they see guys doing that and they go, fuck, all men want is sex. All they can think about is sex. But the truth is, she just don't know that men say that because a man's way, if he has a masculine essence, is to be turned on first with his eyes, what he sees. He's first turned on this way. He's first turned on through the energy that's happening. He's like, oh my God, this girl just turned me on. I would fuck her. A girl's like, many girls won't do that. They go, uh, I've met a guy and he seems to be great, but I'm going to meet him for a little bit longer. Fuck, he's great. I'm going to have sex with him. And that could be over some time in a night or through some dates. But as a man is doing, a man is just seeing a woman like, fuck, I want to go talk to her. She's attractive. Boom. But a girl seeing a guy like, fuck, he's hot. And some girls go, I would fuck him. But if he came in front of her, he would, she, she would be getting to know him and uh, trying to figure out, you know, what kind of guy he is and going from there. Now, that, that's not every woman, that, but that's most women out there. They're not going to just fuck a guy because their heart is connected to their vagina. They're not going to just do things without their heart being engaged in some kind of way, which means their heart being relaxed in some kind of way. So there's all these distortions, so to speak, around all men want sex because men are distorted, then women are distorted, and then women distort men, and then men allow themselves to be distorted. So to clear it up, here's the truth. All men want sex, it's not, it's not the truth. It's not the truth. Do men want sex? Absolutely. But do women want sex? Absolutely. Because a man can say all women want is sex. <laughs> a man can say that as well. But women are not talking about it as overtly as men. So that's why men don't say it. But if you get into so certain social circles and certain groups of women, they talk about sex openly even more than we do. Sometimes. So you can even say all women want is sex. Because when a man and woman gets together, they are together to have sexual romance. That's why they're together. Otherwise, they would be friends. The truth is, are there men out there who just want sex from women and don't want to engage their heart and want to play around with women's emotions and just want to fuck them without caring? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the truth. And if you're a man who's like that, I would say you need to start allowing yourself to be more vulnerable with your heart as you're with a woman. That's in one night over a short term period with her. That's in whatever period that you're with a woman, allow your heart to be more vulnerable to her because that reality only leads to dissatisfaction because sex in itself is not something that's, that's satisfying if your heart is not connected to it. But once your heart is connected to it, oh my God, it's an amazing experience. And people don't know this because most people are afraid to actually engage their heart in any given amount of time with uh, the other person. So, that's just for that. But yeah, man, yeah, we do. We absolutely do. And are there men out there who care so much about women? So much. But it's not getting sex right now just because they're afraid to approach because women have told them all men want sex, so they're trying to figure out, okay, how do I allow my sexuality to show but not come across as sleazy or creepy? Yes, that's also out there. Is that his truth though? No, that's not his truth. Women say this because majority of the times, they are hurt. Women say this because majority of the times they actually really want a man to care but they just feel that men haven't and they just want men to care. That's it. 
The truth is, is that a woman will have sex with you. She would have sex with you. Absolutely. If you wanted to fuck her, but at the same time you care. That is what she wants. Because women are not saying all men want is sex, as in, I don't want to fuck men, because if she stopped fucking men, she would become lesbian. Or she would become a nun. What she's really saying is, all men want is sex, but if men really wanted the woman, who she is, what's important to her, and at the same time wanted to fuck her, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. That is what she's really saying. I want you to care. And until you care, I'm gonna, men, women are going to continue to say this. They will. They will continue to say this. Because there is not a shortage of women out there getting hurt. There's not a shortage. There's not a shortage of men out there hurting women. So how can we bring this all together? How can we bring this all so that you're able to cut that shit out and allow yourself to just be real about your desire but at the same time care? What I would say is this. Do you care enough when you're with a woman? When you're going up to a woman and you're meeting her, do you care enough? Do you actually want to meet the woman? Do you, and I mean meet her in the sense of, do you really want to know the woman? Or do you just want to use her for her vagina? Be able to fuck her? To just validate the part of yourself that feels like women don't like you or you're the man or something? Because the truth is, until you really start caring, like really start caring, you're going to always run into the trouble of having the experience that you really want to have with the woman. The experience that you're disconnected from is the realness of being able to meet somebody, have a true connection, and have a true sexual connection. You're missing all of that because you don't care as much. If your reality has been, uh, women want this, they want men to be like this, they want me to only be nice, they want me to only talk about these things, then I have to say to you, do you care enough about what it is that you want to say, what it is that you want to talk about, what it is that you're about, do you care enough? And why do I bring in care? Is because if you care about what you say, like really care about it, I mean like it means something to you. Meaning like, when you're talking to a woman, are you really talking to her in a way you want to talk to her? Are you sharing things about yourself that you want to share? If you can do that, you will care about what the woman cares about. But when you don't really care about what you're saying, when you don't really care about what's, where it's leading to, like really care about it, which means that have, you want you guys to have a great experience together, that will come off to her with that same thing as all you want is something from her. And the crazy thing is sometimes when you really do care, all, you, all she'll feel is all you want is something from her. You know, for me, I completely used to struggle with this. I used to struggle with this thing of just wanting to make, let the girl know that I care. I struggled heavily with this because I really did care, but women would see that as in, I have to test this to see, does he really care? Because a part of me is kind of 
thinking that all men want is sex or a part of me is thinking that this has a double standard to it this is something that's very you know wishy-washy it looks unpredictable and then they test and I used to hate it I used to completely hate it hate it so much because I was thinking to myself I care so much really about talking to you I care about you know what I'm saying to you and you know why are you testing me and uh, why do you say all I want is one thing and, and, and the text women used to send me and the things women used to say while I'm talking to them it used to really shake me a lot it used to shake the fuck out of me but what did I have to do to allow myself to understand that yes I care a lot but there's something I have to inject that I have to start seeing that until I'm able to understand my truth of what I feel about sex, what I feel about myself in relation to a woman sexually, it's the only way I'm gonna be able to be free. Being free sexually being able to understand your truth sexually is being able to connect to what is true for me when it comes to sex do I want sex yes <laughs> do I want to fuck women yes do I want to give women orgasms get blowjobs do all the crazy nasty shit with sex yes and I am unapologetic about it I want sex I absolutely do but at the same time I do fucking care I do care I have to start seeing that if I do not allow myself to be one with that which is true for me when it comes to my sexuality, then I will always be influenced by the weak-minded and the statements that is forced upon me. The weak-mindedness, the all men want to sex, that is weak-mindedness, that is unhealthy. She's just living out what women live out. Sometimes when a woman is hurt, she will live out all kind of reactions towards men. I've dealt with a lot of them. And now when I go up talking to women, I allow myself to just totally be present to all her reactions and understanding that she's just going to react the way she's going to react. That's not all women. All women are not saying that all men and women are sex. Oh, they're not saying that. If she has a healthy psyche, she's not saying that. No way. If she's in her heart, she's not saying that. Because if a man off all a man wanted is sex from her, she would connect to, do I want this experience or not? And I'm willing to say no and walk away. Because she's able to see that, okay, this man only wants sex, and that's the truth of it. I don't have to react to that. It's just my heart is not for that. My heart is for a guy who cares but wants to fuck me. That's what my heart is for. You guys have to forgive me because I was in Hero Square and the batteries for the microphone died. So now I'm over here because I have to buy some batteries for you guys. But to wrap off this video, I want to give you this. You understand that women say all men want is sex. You understand women usually say that out of hurt. They actually really don't mean it because they still would fuck the guy some many of times. Even when they say that. You start to understand that this distorts you and that the more you can get away from distortion the more you can be able to see <clears throat> the only route to go now is to what's true for you because this now gives you foundation this now allows you the ground that you need to operate from what's very very easy for you to do this is just allow the influence of others to continue to do what it's doing because as it's doing what it's doing 
you must be getting some sort of benefit from it. And if you're not benefiting from it at all, it's time to let go. It's time to. What everybody is doing right now is not for you. When women say that, that's not for you. That is purely them feeling something and projecting it out. It's killing them feeling something and reacting. It is simply that. And the moment you start to see it as simply that, that's when you can start to see that is not for every man. That's just for that particular girl who fucked that guy who treated her bad. And then she developed a belief around something and now it's starting to create her reality. And her reality, until she lets that go, will always bring that truth into her experience. That men, all men want is sex. Because she'll walk around and all she'll hear is guys talking about sex. She'll walk around and all she'll see is guys leering at girls. She'll walk around and it'll, she'll constantly get evidence to her belief that all men want is sex. Do you see how that's dangerous for her? And that if you allow that to be projected onto you, and you take that on for yourself, how is it dangerous for you? Because as much as she walking around looking for evidence, you're walking around trying to not be that. And you're not being that is pulling you away from the truth of something that you want to express. When you're in front of a girl, you will not be able to go for a kiss if your sexuality is distorted in some way because you believe that you shouldn't do this because women say don't do this. You shouldn't act like this because women say don't act like this. Of course, within reason, but many of the times you won't be able to do these things because you haven't connected to what is true for you. What is true for you is the foundation. Until you connect to that foundation, you will always be leaf in the wind, going here and going there. So I'm going to give you an amazing drill for you guys to do. Amazing drill. What you can do is do inventory on yourself and start to think about what have I heard that I'm still living out. What have, I, what have I heard from women growing up? What have I heard from my mom? What have I heard from my sister? Whoever it is that's pulled me away from my own sexuality. That's pulled me away and gave me a different meaning or a different view on it. And I've taken on that to actually be the way that it is. Because when you start to look at it, all these things, you start to go, fuck. That's actually not true for me. I've just been living that out because I'm so scared of living out what's true for me. This is why you guys come to videos and you want to understand the truth because you're like, I feel that something is wrong inside of me. I feel that everything that's happening right now, something is different for me. That's what I feel. I don't feel like I don't like women. Like this woman here, I love like her, her shape, her ass is great. Like, I'm okay saying that and, and like I used to be afraid saying that and if somebody would walk past and hear me saying that I would be like oh my god I'm not I'm not sleazy I'm not creepy because I was in church for a while and I was afraid of like expressing my sexuality because and you know when I was in church it was just like a thing where you don't do it and that was one of the things that screwed me up and many other experiences but I know exactly what that feels like I'm absolutely connected to what that means but looking around and understanding looking around and being able to see okay boom this is the thing right now that I know that it's not helping me okay boom this is the thing right now that I've been hearing over and over and over but this is not helping me being able to just look and see is the way you're going to be able to pinpoint what's true for you you need to start looking now in yourself your conditionings around your sexuality. Open up, be alive. Allow yourself to just really just penetrate to the deepest level 
of why do I act like this? Why can't I go for the kiss? Why can't I really just walk around and feel like I can check a woman out? Why is it that I'm afraid of looking sleazy? You need to now start to look at these things that you're afraid of looking at. Because once you look at them, you start to see that fuck. Man, I know why now I can't go for a kiss on a date. It's because I'm afraid of looking like a sleaze. I'm afraid that if I do go for the kiss, the woman will feel that, you know, I just want one thing from her. You're probably living out shit unconsciously that's hurting you. And one of the great things that I do in my product that's coming out really later in the summer now, I won't be coming out June 23rd like I told you guys, I talk so much about owning your sexuality. Because where you are right now, you don't want to be there. You don't want to have to walk around and have these hands of shame over your cock. You don't want that. But that is what's currently what you have. You have hands of shame over your cock. And with these hands of shame that you have, guess what? What has they done for you? What have people done for you who've shamed you? What has happened for you because you have hands of shame over your cock? To just let up like this is to be exposed. To just let up like this is to go, I don't want to live in this anymore. That's what it means to let up. But the only way you're going to be able to do this, the letting up, is for you to look at what has stopped me? And once you pinpoint the ones that has so much emotion attached to them, this is the letting go now. And if you want to know about letting go, it's totally sitting with the feeling that you feel around that thing that you've located. And once you sit with the feeling around what you've, been, what, what you've located, what you'll notice is it's been that feeling itself that's been controlling you when you're in front of the woman and you want to go for the kiss or you're in front of the woman you want to grab her hand or you want to do something it's that feeling that's been hurting you do you know what mine was mine was being obvious that i'm doing something i was so scared to be obvious that i'm doing something because uh, i'm going to give you guys a little anecdote from my life when i was little i <laughs> I'm going to talk about this story more in my journey video. I'm going to do a video on my journey and just women. But when I was little, I was about 10 years old, and I gave this nasty letter to this girl. And it was talking about I want to have sex with her, I want to do a doggy style. And these are all the things that I was hearing in porn, but <laughs> I wrote it down in the paper, and I gave it to the girl. And when I gave it to the girl, I was shamed so much because I went to the office, and her mom was there. She was there crying, and the principal was there, and they all were women. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so like, I'm sitting there while she's crying, and she's like, oh my God, you're so gross. And she's telling me how gross I am, and fuck, I just felt so shamed in that moment. Although you're like, well, you're 10 years old, you're already fucking doing shit. I'm like, I know, but that shame that I had with that made me understand that I shouldn't be obvious. That if I be obvious that I want a woman, or I'm obvious that I obvious that I want to do something, it will get shamed. And what I would do is I would, you know, walk around and I, I would talk to women on the street. And sometimes I'll be scared to just check a girl out, like obviously, because I'm like, oh my god, that feeling is so strong in me to just feel like I'm creepy or sleazy for doing that, or mainly creepy because it connected back to that 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 pain I have inside of just being obvious that I'm doing something because when I obviously gave her the letter and told and be so obvious in the letter I got shame for it and I was like oh my god so now I'm walking around with the with that experience still inside of me controlling me and my interactions and what you don't know is that these things that I tell you to locate right now they are controlling you and until you're able to sit with the feeling of it and allow yourself to let it go it won't ever leave it won't. It'll just stay with you. And you'll constantly be in the same place you are with every woman that you meet. 
and I have to do that. And as I located it, the letting go, of course, sitting with, sitting through it, and then putting myself into situations where I just obviously do things. I'm like, I'm scared of being obvious, so I'm just gonna walk around, and I'm gonna obviously check out women. And at, in the beginning, it was so scary. So fucking scary. I would be looking at a woman, and I would, she's coming toward me, and I would look her up and down, like this as she's coming, and my heart would be thumping. And the whole time thinking like, oh my God, I look, I look, I look fucking, fucking sleazy doing this. And I'm like, oh man, I just look fucking weird doing this. And what it was was the truth for me is to obviously do that. The truth for me is to look at a woman and obviously check her out because I love doing that actually. I just was so scared of doing it because I didn't want to get shamed. That is what's true for me. That is now when you see me walking down the street, I'm doing it all the time and I feel good about it because that is what's true for me. Not because I'm doing it now and I don't, I didn't, uh, before I was so scared of it and I feel good about it, no. It's because that's what's true for me. And until I connected to that's what's true for me, I couldn't do that. When I'm in front of a woman, I obviously check her out if I like her. You guys have seen me do it in my videos. I'm like, you know, you just look, I like you. And I just say that because I'm being totally obvious with her. Something I was afraid of doing. But until I put myself into situations, until I first pinpointed that and understood that I was scared of it, sat with it and understood, okay, now I have to go out into the street and be obvious so I can just feel this feeling while I'm out in the street, while there's a chance for shame, that's when I was able to get over it. That's when I was able to go, yep, this is happening, but I feel good about it. I recommend you guys to do workshops with me or the TNL team because these are all the things that I'm willing to locate inside of yourself to give you the chance to change, to get the women you want in your life. Or you can stay where you are and be normal and go through your life and maybe you find it on your own way. It's up to you. But I know you don't want the life that you have right now. I know you don't want the life you have right now with women. You have the chance. So, this is your boy Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyle saying that I love you guys and I see you when I see you. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I wanna give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.